Hello, ladies and gents. So, I'm feeling a little miserable right now. So, I'm gonna... Maybe I'll go out tonight. I don't know. Maybe I'll go to um, a pub or something. But in order to do so, I need to get made up. Mm. Just watch me how I transform into a lovely goddess. Okay? I'm getting... I'm gonna try a um, cool color eyeshadow on my eyes. So... Oh gosh, my crystal ball is in the way of getting what I need. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. It's just like, you know, like those feelings of like loneliness, you know? Like, oh, I have no one to go out with tonight, you know? Boo-hoo, poor me, right? <clears throat> Come on, Tara, you don't need to come wherever I go. I don't know why he feels, she feels she needs to go wherever I go. Tara, don't come here. Stop crying. You want to go outside? I'll let you go outside. Not a problem. Any heels? Here, I'm going to get the eyeshadow stuff. And I'm going to get the mirror that my ex-lover or whatever boyfriend got me. <laughs> So it's actually a convenient mirror, you know? So I'll place, I'll place this here while I put on the makeup. And you can watch me. Watch me. Shit. I'm going to try to feel pretty. Lift myself out of this crappy mood. <sighs> okay. When I was having deja vu the other day, today it was, I can't remember what it was. I was at a certain place, and then suddenly I, I just felt like I was back in time, you know, to, I felt like I was back in time to the time when I was there, and you ever have those feelings when you're just like in a different, um, okay, how does this look? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Covering all my pimples. Oh, you know what I need? You know what I'm missing? I'm missing bronzer. You know? I'm missing bronzer. One second, let me find bronzer. Maybe I'll get a date tonight from an app or something just for my entertainment you know where's the uh... my voice is changing i'm turning into a man <laughs> weird isn't it okay one second i'm looking for the bronzer i think oh here it is perfect perfect I need to get it out of the drawer It's hot in here. Found it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna apply bronzer. Yeah. On my nose. On my face. Oh my god, so today I had this client, right? client he still needs to pay me that I did like a reading on and the reading was telling me all about how this cheating going on in the relationship you know I don't know anything about him but then he said he's married and then as the day went on he's like asking me more questions and then he just wants to know more about me you know he starts asking me like questions of like oh um how tall are you you're really pretty you're hot you're this you're that and I was just like I felt sick because I was just like, I told him, look, I, I want to keep it professional, you know, like, let's just, you know, because I, I was a little disappointed. I'm like, oh, he wants to talk to me just because I'm, I'm pretty. He doesn't want my advice, you know, 
So that was that was upsetting. You know, I was like, I, I got all excited. I'm like, oh, my first, you know, someone who wants to pay me, and you know, but it turns out, Tarzan, I'm I'm trying to do something here. Can you go down, please? Tarzan, come on, seriously, don't go back up, bad boy. Uh, whatever. I feel like such a horrible person when I scream at my cats. They're just, you know, they get in the way. My house is small, you know? Maybe that guy's right. The, um, the guy I was dating that dumped me. Maybe. Oh, now I'm all red. Shit. I look like a tomato. Mm. Maybe I should put bronzer on my neck. Uh, oh god, I suck at this. Oh. Alright, now let's try this. Oh my god, I look terrible. Oh. Oh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> it's not like I have a date. Maybe I'll find a date tonight. I don't have such nice colors, you know, like I saw this other, these other um, YouTube creators, they like have all these gorgeous colors, you know, like different shades of greens and stuff. And I don't, I, I could buy, but I wouldn't know how to apply that rhymes, you know? <clears throat> oh yeah, I was watching the YouTube channel of, of this guy who's a transgender. He became a woman. And, you know, transgenders, in my opinion, a lot of them are very sweet, but they're also, um, he was kind of like a hypocrite because, like, he he was doing, like, a, he was talking about women, how they have body dysphoria, you know? They see their body, like, worse than it is and, like, different in their mind's eye, and I'm just, like, thinking, like, you know, dude, if you think a woman is having dysphoria, like, who's to say you don't have gender dysphoria? Like, you f like those women feel fat when they're not fat. Like, you feel like a woman when you're not a woman, you know? Like, I found that a little bit ironic and strange. But whatever. It's their business. Their problem, you know? It's their challenge that they have to deal with, not mine. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad I'm not born that way. You know, there's only so much I can handle. You know? <clears throat> How's it looking? Cooking. How's it cooking? I don't know. Am I looking scary? Am I looking scary? Maybe I should put pink. I'll put pink hair. Yeah? I'll put pink. Pink hair. I don't have a good light, you know? I need like a, a lamp, a bright lamp. Maybe I can buy it. A bright lamp that then I can make believe I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm putting pink all over. I'm making myself so pretty. Pink. Ooh, so pretty. Now I'm gonna put it here. Pretend I'm gorgeous. Hmm. Yeah, but the transgenders in general, like, a lot of them are very sweet people, you know? Like, when I was in the hospital, the mental hospital, it was a transgender man. He was became a woman, and he had this, he had this, um, he had this lover, not a lover, but his friend who's a girl. She loved him. She was, like, an Arabic girl, and she loved him, and... He tried to talk to me, you know? <laughs> and I felt like he was very much a man, you know? He was still very much a masculine man in the woman's, uh, in the woman's section. Because where I was, it was only woman in that lockdown area, you know? So that was interesting. And, and the girl that he was trying to... Oh, God, there's cats outside, stray cats. The girl that he was 
maybe they're hungry. Maybe I need to feed them. Basically, and I look terrible, but just you wait. I'm not done yet. So this girl, she was in love with this guy, <clears throat> and he tried to talk to me, and she got jealous. You know? And I was just like, why is she jealous? Like, I wasn't even interested. I was like, yeah, he's a nice guy, but I felt like he was... Still masculine, probably still attracted to women, you know? <clears throat> Even though he went through, like, gender um, reassignment, whatever, you know? I'm looking for my... This. Eyeliner. <sighs> the guy... This guy that I broke up with, this is the mirror he gave me. It's actually pretty good. Convenient, you know? <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I offered my services to help find him another girl, but he, he's not interested. In the beginning, he asked me to find him a friend of mine. You know, if I had any friends for him, and I, I don't really have many friends who are single. And the ones I have, he did, wasn't attracted to. But now, I, I said, you know, I can go online and send him pictures. And he said, no, he doesn't need my help. Suit himself, you know? Whatever, you know? I'm lonely. Now who needs a boyfriend, you know? Who needs them? They're all the same. They all say the same words, you know? They all like to lecture me and tell me... They all like to lecture me and tell me their opinion on what, what I should be doing with my life, you know? I didn't ask them, you know? I did not ask their opinion. I really didn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but so what? <laughs> you see, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Everything's always, like, collapsing in my house. Because I have cats. Let's make it, let's make it pretty. Let's make it pretty. Okay, you'll see. At the end, I'm going to look stunning. Oh, I'm gonna look so good that all the guys are gonna wanna be my friend. Yeah. Yeah, that was upsetting about that guy. I thought he really wants my advice, but it turns out he's just trying to get with me and he's a married man, and, and my cards even said he's a married man. My cards even said that he's um doing infidelity, you know? What the fuck, right? That was, ups that was upsetting, truly, you know? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like whatever I do, you know, my looks can't get me anywhere, you know? Everyone says, oh, you're pretty, you don't have trouble in life, you know? I, first of all, I don't think I'm so pretty, but either way, even if I were, my looks have never gotten me anywhere in life. It's just gotten me into trouble. Like, for example, like, I put my thing on that I want to read for people on like the the group on Facebook for jobs and this guy decides he wants my advice because he sees my picture that I'm pretty and then he starts hitting on me you know what I'm saying it's like kind of like it's very upsetting you know and I'm just like okay I he's a married man like I'm not gonna flirt with him and even if he weren't married, I wouldn't um, necessarily go with him because I don't want someone like him. You know, I could just see from my cards, they tell me everything I need to know about him. <laughs> you know? Whatever. Yeah, that was upsetting. I thought I was getting somewhere, you know? Turns out these guys, they just want one thing. Just want one thing. They want to get with you. You know? I can't even give advice for my card readings. Because the guys just want to get with me. They don't care for what, my, what I'm saying. They're just thinking in their head. Sex, sex, sex. You know? I don't know. What... Girls, can you feel me? You understand what I'm saying? Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. 
This life is is a life of suffering and sadness. Oh, whatever. How do I look? Like a drag? Looking good? <clears throat> Hold on. The guy, yeah, I was emailing the guy that I, that dumped me today. And he's like, yeah, you look better with your hair down and, uh, you know, not up in a bandana or anything. And I'm just like thinking, like, what do I care? What does he care? You know, he's not with me anymore. You know, like, I don't need his advice, you know. He doesn't want to see me and it's pretty much over. Like, what's his issue, you know? I don't know why these guys, they think they, 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 they excuse their nastiness by saying they care for you, you know? That's what they say. They, they care for you. That's why they say nasty things. Sorry, but that's not how relationships are supposed to work. Just because you're nasty doesn't mean you care. It just means that you want to feel like you're better. You just want to feel like you're, you know, better and you want to be, you want in charge and, and you want to be mean. I feel like a lot of guys, they just say nasty things to me just to make me cry, you know? They like to watch, they like to be nasty, push, 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 be really, really nasty. Once they cry, they're happy. You know? Wait, I need to put on mascara. Um, well... I don't really have mascara, so this will have to do. I'll put my hair down. Like, they don't want to make me happy and laugh. They want to make me cry. You know? What do I need that for, right? Screw them. Am I going bald? Okay, so this is pretty. Mm, whatever. What's the point if it's in my face, right? Anyhow, um, what else? Smoke. Should I go out with someone? I don't have a date. Should I go on the, the, the Tinder crap, whatever, and find myself a stupid guy? <clears throat> How is it looking? Look in this light. Does it look bad? Look. How does it look? Does it look bad? My makeup look bad. Maybe this light here you'll see better. How about this? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I can't stand this. You see, it gets everywhere. <laughs> it gets everywhere. Mm. I'm going to put my hair back. I'll show you what I got. You want to see what I got? It's really good. Since I have all these cats. Oh, I have too much lipstick. I'll just take it off. Who needs it, right? You want to see what I got? I'll show you. Hold on a second. Let me wipe it. See, it's all pink. I have to wipe it. <laughs> Hold on. He's crying. Why are you crying? Look what I got. This. Takes off all the hair. And the cats. Oh yeah. It works. Good.
It's good. Anyhow, let me hang it back up. Yep. My little house. Yeah. So if any of you guys want me to read you cards, you can always contact me and pay me what you want if you want, if you're satisfied, you know. Yeah. I ordered some cards, new cards, on their way. They should be here next week. I got, because, like, some cards are, like, really big. You know, I don't want big cards. I ordered, like, mini cards. Like, mini tarot cards, like. And I bought some witch stuff, too. You know? So, that'll be interesting. You know? <laughs> Anyways, have a good night.